Okay, this is how to remove the stem from the Seiko 1792 movement. This is the popular 1792 0DW0 quartz chronograph. And I think this method is the same for all of the 7T range of movements. I've loosened the back, so it's going to take this off. And inside, like so many Seikos, there is a small tab. We need to push down on the tab as we pull out the crown. So basically, it's going to sort of free the stem for us to pull out. The tab is in this little hole here, which is usually right next to the stem. And there's the word push written there, very small letters, with a small arrow next to it just pointing into the hole. Now the tab is half visible, so what we do, we pull the crown out one click, and then we should see that tab move to the left. So one click, Okay, and it just moved. I'll do that again. Push it in, pull it out one click. Okay, it's made that tab visible and there's a small little dark dimple on the end of it. That enables us to push down on it with something small and sharp like this. And then as we're pushing down, we'll pull out the crown. I'm gonna turn it around just to make it a bit easier for myself. So the crown is out one click. There's the tab and the hole. Let's push down on that. We don't need to push very hard. All it does is sort of bend a piece of metal inside. So slowly push down on that and that frees the stem for me to pull out like that. Okay, that's all it is. It doesn't require much pressure. If you're struggling to pull it out, don't push harder. Just try again, pull it out one click and because you don't want to break anything. And to replace the stem, you just slide it back in there, wiggle it side to side a little bit. I find that helps as we push in. Again, you only need to do it gently, and that goes back in. So there we go. How to pull out the stem, how to um, push it back in on a Seiko 1792.